Welcome back! My name is Emil and um, a couple of days ago I posted a video of my uh, newly custom-built uh, amplifier that is uh, based on the JCM 800 but it's not anymore. It is a completely reworked um, amplifier with a custom uh, preamp and a mix between a uh, super lead and a um, JCM power amp and it has all sorts of uh, cool mods going so if you want to check that out you can have a look at the the last video I posted and also the build video about this amp so link in the description today I'm just gonna compare some tones uh, I'm not going to talk as much as I did last last time. Uh, although, uh, when I edited the last video, I noticed it was a little bit bright. It also had to do with the uh, mic positioning and, and the way I had it set up. It, it was a little bright, even for me, but it, it, was, it was still cool, but maybe a little bit too thin. And so I've, I've dialed that back just a little bit, dialed presence back, uh, got the mids up just a little bit, and... Um, um, yeah, that's about it. Um, cool, so I'm gonna compare it to the, um, the Mesa Boogie Mark IV Revision A. That is my go-to amp for like everything. Well, it's, uh, it's mo half of my sound. Um, this is the best amp, well, the, the Mesa Boogie amp, it's the best um, when it comes to playing low volumes. I mean, I, I think they solved it just just great. So, uh, so the Mesa Boogie Mark V for the for the low volume. And this video is uh, on the Marshall here on the on my Marshall. It's set just below one, so it's like really comfortable room in the room um, levels. I'm gonna set this up uh, in a similar volume, and I'm also uh, might throw in a uh, super lead at the end. Uh, the 73 point to point super lead uh, that amp is not going to compete in the quiet uh, war it is just too loud but it still has some of the world's greatest rock tones ever so i'm gonna i'm gonna throw that in and see how my uh, my amp stacks up against them all right let's let's go okay so one last thing before i start playing here i just want to go through my signal chain uh, like i said uh, in some clips i do have a boost that's a, a compressor that's not doing a whole lot of compression but it's it's basically boosting the signal it's a clean boost uh, basically i think the strat needs it uh, to come up to the same output level as many other guitars uh, also i have an analog delay uh, in the effects loop of the amps. Um, that's about it. I'm going through my um, 80s uh, Marshall cab, the JCM 800 cab with the uh, um, G1275s. I have one SM58 and one uh, Gefell M930 and I'm blending the two. So let's see here, I'm gonna play you some, um, this is just uh, damp, nothing in the effects loop and nothing in front. So we have this. This is uh, with the effects, uh, the delay in the effects loop. Thank you. 
some basic rock tones, uh, no effects, no boost. <laughs> and a boosted rock tone. and full-on lead tones with both boost and uh, delay. Okay, thank you so much for watching and please like and subscribe if you like this stuff. It really helps the channel and helps me doing stuff like this. If you uh, like this, uh, please comment, see, uh, say what you think. Uh, um, I really want to hear if you think it's good or bad or what needs improvement or whatever. So thank you so much again. Bye.